Hello, my name is Don Cher-Tomei, and I would like to welcome you to the Milwaukee Public Museum. I'd also like to invite you to view our most recent exhibit, developed by graduate students of the UW-Milwaukee and Milwaukee Public Museum Museum Certificate Program. The exhibit title this year is Darkness Illuminated, and the exhibit will be on display through April 2014. What you are about to hear are perspectives from some of the students regarding the theme of the exhibit. Enjoy. In January, we were given four cases and a theme. This theme was darkness. Over the past three months, we have put together an exhibit that will be on display at the Milwaukee Public Museum for a year. Imagine you are alone in the dark. What is your first reaction? Do you run to the nearest light source? Or do you embrace the darkness and seek out the interesting things in your surroundings? Darkness Illuminated explores the realms of darkness as they exist. It challenges the notion that darkness is merely something to be feared and demonstrates how we can thrive in it. These four cases explore how people and animals live with darkness, how we explore the darkness, how we surrender to darkness, and cultural expressions of darkness. From the depths of the ocean to outer space, and the Brothers Grimm to Batman, darkness reigns. Case 1 exhibits how humans and animals live with darkness. We, this case explores darkness we encounter every day so through things like sleep. Some people live in extended periods of darkness. Polar night leaves the Arctic Circle consumed by darkness for days, weeks, or even months. The blind or people with low vision may not live in complete darkness, but they do have to adjust to low levels of light. Adaptations like bioluminescence, hibernation, or nocturnal behavior allow animals to thrive in the dark. Did you know that there are certain types of flowers that only bloom at night? These are oftentimes called moonflowers. This adaptation protects their pollen during the day and allows nocturnal animals to pollinate them after nightfall. Hello there, friends. Case 2 focuses on exploring darkness, from light inventions to space exploration. Humans' curiosity of the dark has led to amazing feats of scientific discovery, and has transformed the way we understand the universe. Did you know that the miner's light was essential for working deep within the Earth, but its open flame was also lethal? When the flickering light combined with the natural gases in the caves, it ignited huge explosions. So, come join us and learn more ways that humans explore the darkness. We talk about different ways humans surrender to darkness. As a way to cope with the inescapable darkness of death, people light candles and create memorials to remember those who have passed. On the lighter side, games such as Bloody Mary and the use of Ouija boards give us a fright but allow us to remain in the safety of our own homes. Did you know darkness can also be entertaining? In the 19th and 20th centuries, specimens such as this Fiji mermaid were often spectacles at sideshows. This creature was said to have originated from the depths of the ocean off the course of off the coast of northern Japan. Pretty cool, huh? Welcome to Case 4, where we discuss how darkness can be used as a creative force. We look at how art, music, literature, theater, and film all borrow elements of darkness to produce new ways to look at the world. We combine museum artifacts, such as a piece of treasure art from World War II, a Japanese Tengu theater mask, and then a death in the cart skeleton, with pop culture icons such as Batman, Morticia Adams, Darth Vader, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Perhaps one of the greatest superheroes in comic book lore, Batman embraces darkness to combat and overcome both personal and societal villains. Under the cover of night, he protects Gotham and serves justice. He is also a reflection of our own personal demons and the fine line between good and evil. Come see how darkness subtly seeps into our own culture. <laughs> 